Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make my 3D puffy crystal heart pendant. This pendant matches the ring that I did two videos on a while back. If you haven't made the ring yet, I suggest that you go watch both videos on the ring and make the ring first because this pendant is twice as hard as the heart ring was. To make this as easy as possible for everyone to understand, I'm going to be showing you how to make the heart in rainbow colors. So I have three different sizes of hearts here and I'm going to tell you the materials you're going to need to make the small, medium, and the large and also if you want to do it in rainbow colors I'll tell you how many you'll need of each color to get the rainbow look. So for the smallest heart you're going to need three feet of eight pound monofilament, you're going to need 44 four millimeter bicones, 25 11 knot C beads, and this is all for this little guy here. Now when we go up in size we have to add an extra foot of monofilament for the other larger hearts. I found this out the hard way when I was making a bigger one I used three feet and I realized it was way too short. So the materials you're going to need for the medium heart is going to be four feet of eight pound or ten pound test monofilament you're going to need 44 5 millimeter bicones, 25 10 knot C beads, and I'll tell you the colors you need for the rainbow a little bit later. Now, for this one, the biggest, the materials you're going to need for it are going to be 5 feet of 10 pound test monofilament, 44 6 millimeter bicones, and 25 8 knot C beads. So I've used 11 knot C beads to try to make this one and they uh, fall into the holes and they disappear, they're way too small. So you have to use uh, 8 dot C beads with the 6 millimeter and uh, there's a lot of adjusting with different sizes to get it to just work just right. I tried using the 8 dot C beads on this one and it gave it a really odd shape. It wasn't so round and curvy, it was just really uh, pointed and awkward. So if you're going to want to make a rainbow you're going to need four green bicones, ten blue bicones, twelve purple bicones, ten pink bicones, six orange bicones, and two yellow bicones. So that's the list of materials for the small heart, the medium, and the large. If you didn't get some of this or you want to see it written down, all the information you're going to need on the materials are going to be below the video in the description bar. There's a button down there that says show more. Just click on that and you'll see all the materials you're going to need to make whatever size heart you want. I have all my beads laid out and I colored both ends of my string with a permanent marker. So the first thing we're going to be doing is making the bottom, the point of a heart. And then we're going to go in this direction, turn, go down, go up, turn, and go back down. And then we'll end up in the center, and then I'm going to flip it over and we'll weave that side. So, the first beads I'm going to pick up is going to be two yellows. And on my left, I'm going to pick up an orange. And my right, I'm going to pick up an orange and cross through, put my ends together and slide it down. Now we have this. Now on my right side I'm going to pick up an orange and on my left I'm going to pick up a pink and then I'm going to pick up a pink on my right and cross through it. Put my ends together and bring it down. So now we have this, and if you hold it this way, you can see our stripes going in this direction. So right here is where we're at. Now we have to do the purple. So on my right string, I'm going to pick up a pink. And on my left, I'm going to do a purple. And then I'm going to pick up a purple on my right and cross to the right. And 
Now we have three squares or cubes. Now on my right string, red, I'm going to pick up two blue bicones and cross to the second. Just like this. So now we have a little triangle right here and I'm going to make one more triangle. I'm going to pick up one green and then I'm going to pick up a blue and cross to the blue. Bring it down and I stuck on my tripod. Okay, now here we are. This is a turn. I'm going to take this string and put it through the black one. Put it through this purple bead right here. So now we have this. This is the turn of a heart over here on the side. I just pinned my work down, so we're right here because it was all over the place. And I'm still exiting out the same place that I was, where I I picked up my two blue, I crossed the second, and then I picked up a green and a blue and crossed with blue, and I'm exiting out the purple. So same place, I just pinned my work down. Now, I'm going to take this string that's exiting up that way and hold it in my left hand, and this bottom one I'm going to hold in my right hand. I'm going to pick up with my left string, a green bicone a seed bead and then with my right string I'm going to pick up a purple bicone and cross through it now we have this half of our heart. So with this string, it's red and it's exiting in this direction. I'm going to take it and go through this pink bicone. Pull it through. And now I'm going to take this string exiting up here and I'm going to pick up one seed bead and then I'm going to pick up a purple bicone and with my right string, I'm going to pick up a pink and cross through the pink. Now with my black string in my right hand, I'm going to go through this orange, pull it through. Now I'm going to swap my strings again because I'm going in this direction. So now, the string that's coming out the orange, I'm holding in my left hand, and this string that's coming out the pink, I'm holding in my right hand. I'm going to pick up a orange bicone, and then on my right, I'm going to pick up a pink, and cross to the pink. So now we have this. On my left string, I already have two squares here, I need my third, I'm going to pick up a pink bicone, and on my right I'm going to pick up one purple, and then I'm going to pick up a second purple and cross through it. Just like this. So now it's time to make our turn. So with my black string, I'm going to pick up two purple bike two blue bicones cross to the second just like this and then I'm going to take my red string left side and I'm going to pick up 
one green and then I'm going to pick up a blue and pick it up on my right and cross through it now we have this so I'm going to take my work up here so I can maneuver it better so pull this tight so now we have to take this string and I'm going to run it through this purple through this purple and then we're going to pick some beads up So this string right here, exiting out this bottom purple blue, I'm going to go up to the purple, my red string, and then I'm going to go through this purple. So now we have this. Now with my right string, now now it's red because it's on this side, I'm going to pick up a seed bead and then I'm going to pick up my last green bicone and cross through it. So now we have half of our heart completed. So I flipped my work upside down and I attached it with the needle and now I'm going to be filling in the other half. So I'm going to be using all these outside beads to connect my new beads. So all of these outside I'm going to be using them to connect beads on the inside. So all these beads here is what I'm going to be adding, the same colors on the inside. So I'm going to be copying what's here. So on my right string I'll be picking up the two purples and the blue. So the first thing I have to do is go through this C bead with my right string. And I'm going to pick up two purple bicones, a blue, and cross to the blue. Just like this. Now I have to take this string down here and go through this green bicone. Pull it through and fetch my other string. Now I have to take and pick up exiting out of my left string, exiting out of the green, and my right exiting out of the blue, I have to have three beads in this section here. So I have to pick up one bead and cross through it. Just like this. Pull it down. Now I have to take my left string and go through this blue bicone. Pull it out. Now I have to add a third bead. So here's our two blue bicones. And now I have to pick up a third bicone. And if you look down here, you can tell that it's going to be purple. So here's my third. I'm going to cross through it. Like this. So now I have to take my red string and go through this purple bicone. Now I have to take my left string and go through this pink one. So we have three bicones here in a group and this means we have to pick up our fourth one. So looking down here we could see that the bead color we have to pick up is going to be pink. So here's our pink. Cross through. Now we have this. 
So now I have to take my left string it's red and I'm gonna go down through this orange bicone. Pull that through. And with my right looking here, we could see that the next bead I have to pick up is gonna be pink and then we're gonna cross through an orange. So here's my pink and an orange and I'm going to cross through the orange. Now I have to take my work off here. I'm going to take my left string, it's black, and I'm going to go through this yellow bicone. Then I have to go through this yellow bicone and now we have three bicones here two yellows and an orange and we have to pick up a fourth and our fourth is going to be orange our last orange so cross through this now we're here I'm going to take my left string, red, and I'm going to go through this orange bicone. And then looking right through this hole, you could tell that I have to pick up two pinks and we're going to cross through the second. Now I have to take my left string and go through this pink one. And looking through this hole again, you could see that we have to do two purples. So two purples, cross the second. Now we're here. I'm going to take my left string and go through this blue. And then I'm going to pick up a blue bicone and cross through it. I'm going to take my left string and go through the green. Now we have two bicones here we're exiting out of. I'm going to pick up a blue bicone and cross through it. Now I'm going to take my right string and go through this purple bicone. I'm going to take my left string and go through this green and I have to go through that C bead. Oops. So there's the green. Now the C bead. Pull it through. Now I have to pick up my last bicone, this purple one, and cross through it. Bring it down. Now we're here. I'm going to take this string, my black one, and I have to get it to go through the center seed bead. So this center one right here has to go through. And 
And now I have to take my other string, it's red and fading, put it through this pink one, this pink one, and then I have to go through this purple one. Now I have to get this string to go through the center seed bead. Just like this. So don't pull it tight yet, because now we have to go, I'm um, exiting out the center one, one string's going this way, and one's going that way. I have to get this string to go through this seed bead here. And I have to do the same on this side. this one. So now I can pull both of my strings and tighten my work. So now we have the base of our heart complete and we're going to add our bail and we're going to fill in all the gaps so you can't see our string passing through especially over here because that's ugly now we're going to add our bail so both of my strings are exiting out of those two seed beads and I'm going to pick up three seed beads and crisscross my strings So now it looks like this. I'm going to take one of my strings, I'll do the black one, and I have to go through this green bicone right here. And we are probably going to be needing our tweezers for this. So just like that. And now I have to do the same on this side. And go through this green bicone. If you are um, wanting to make this heart and you haven't made a lot of stuff, if you can understand what I'm doing in the video and you want to make this heart, um, I think it's best to do it with 6mm bicones because these being smaller, it's a little tighter. And then these 4mm bicones, they are super tiny in the 11 ounce so it was a lot tougher to work with this so that's why I did the 8 pound and you can also do 6 pound monofilament for the small one so now we have our bale and we are ready ready to add the rest of the seed beads and the gaps I'm going to work on one side exiting out the screen by cone I'm going to pick up a seed bead and go through this green one now because this space is so big, I have to pick up two seed beads and then go through this blue one. Now I'm going to pick up one and I'm going to try to go through all three of these bicones on the side. But I might get stopped, so... Okay, just like that, there's one side, I'm going to flip it over and do this side, pick up one, go through this green, pick up two, through the blue, pick up one, and go through all three of these body cones.
tighten it up. Now I'm going to get one C bead and cross through it, just like I did in the ring. So I have to make this straight like this and I'm going to keep this loose. I'm not going to pull the C bead up because if I do it will be too hard to go back through these. So keep my string straight and this one I have to take and go through this yellow and then I have to go through this orange Then I have to swap my strings, and stick my finger back in there, take this one, the red, and go through this yellow, then I have to go through this orange bicone. So now I can pull both of my strings and tighten up my work. So now it's right at the point. So now we have to fill in the C beads right here. Just like we did in the red. Now I'm going to pick up one C bead and cross through it. Don't bring it down all the way though. We're going to have to do the same thing that we just did at the point of our heart. We have to make sure it's straight. So pull it up. Okay, so here it's straight. You can see right here. Our holes it has to be like that. I put my finger in it. Now I have to take the red string and go through this pink bead. I'm going to grab it with my tweezers. Just like that. And now we have to make sure it's still straight. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And go through this pink bead. Grab it again with my tweezers. Pull it up. it and just like this it sits in my heart. Now I have to take my other string, my black string, pick up a C bead and go through the purple bicone. Get another one and go through this blue one. Now I'm going to take this string and I'm going to put it through or under these two C beads just like this. And if I can get it to go through this blue bicone while putting it through there, then I'll try. You see? Okay, I just got through there. Now I'm going to go through the bicone. Okay, so this one's on this side, ready to do this side here, and now I have to finish this string off. So I'm going to pick up a C bead and put it through the purple okay, grab it with my tweezers if you don't have tweezers you can use something pointy to get the string out like um, a toothpick maybe or a needle Okay, I'm going to pick up another C bead and put it through this blue bicone. Pull it through. Now I have to go under these 
two sea beads. Just like that. And through this blue bicone. So pull both snug. So now we have this side complete and we are on this side. And it kind of curves like this because those are filled in. But once we get this side filled in with the C beads, it'll be really nice and flat. So remember in my cubic right angle weave uh, spacer bar video, I took my tweezers or as a, I think I, maybe it was pliers, and I just bent the very tip of my string so it's at a 90 degree angle. It's a little curled up. And doing that helped me get through some of the beads. So I'm going to pick up a seed bead now. Exiting through this blue one, I'm going to go through this purple. And it came right out. I didn't have to use the tweezers. I'm going to do it again. And go through the pink. Now I have to do the same with this side. Exiting out the blue, pick up a seed bead and go through this purple. Pick up a C bead and go through this pink. Now we have to pick up our last C bead and cross through it. We have to straighten it out again because it's twisted. So I have to go this way. Just like this. I'm going to put my finger in it. And I'm going to go through the orange bicone. With my red string. I'm going to take my black and go through this orange one and now pull my strings and the C bead pops right in the hole. So now we have to knot it and I'm going to do the half hitch knot that I always do in all of my beading work. So we're going to do it in the outer edge because it's going to be the easiest place to tie our knots and right here we have these gaps where we left out uh, seed beads and the reason why I left them out is because I've tried it with it in it and the heart twists weird it's not right so that's why I never put seed beads in those gaps and the same with the ring I never put the seed beads there because when I did it twisted so there's a string right here that's going straight remember we went straight in this direction through the pink the orange and the yellow there's a string there and I'm gonna catch it with the end of my monofilament right here. There's a string there and I'm just gonna go underneath of it like this. Make a loop and I'm gonna go through the loop twice. Just like this. Pull it down. And I'm gonna pull it this way because I need to go through the orange bicone and if I pull it up towards the orange bicone it's going to go into the orange one 
So it's through this orange bicone. And that's trying to go into my pink. Pull it through. Now the knot just slipped into my orange bicone. I'm going to grab this other string, the center one that's right there, make a loop, and I'm going to go through the loop twice. Pull it down and pull the knot towards the orange bicone. And now I'm going to go through the pink. Try to move that out of the way so I can go through. Okay. Now I'm going to pull it and that knot hides under the pink one. So again, I'm going to go through the seed bead or I guess I could tie the knot here before I go through the seed bead. And I'm going to tie more half hitch knots. And I'll probably go one here, one here. I'll probably go up to maybe here and tie my half hitch knots. And then I'll cut the string. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So continue tying your knots and then cut your string when you get up here. Or till you can't go any further. Okay, so this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to me, because once you subscribe to me, every time I upload a new video, you'll be sent an email letting you know that I just uploaded a new video. So like this video, comment down below, friend me on Facebook, and show me what you've made. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have many beautiful nights.